Maliki Yaumitin. He is what? He is the sovereign of the day of resurrection, of the day of recompense. The words, if we relate it with the previous verses, in this verse, Allah is very clearly summing up that there is no doubt that Allah is glorious and that all praise is for him. And he is sustainer, he is the sustainer, he is Rahman and he is Ar Rahim. But remember, he is just not merciful. Just don't keep on relying on him being Rahman and Rahim. Remember, he will also be Malik Yawmiddin. He will be the master of the day of judgment. This verse gives a very clear cut message and reminder to the reciter about the day of judgment, about hereafter, and reminding of Yawmuddin this this verse of Surah Fatiha, it helps us develop a fear of hereafter. It makes us develop the, the desire of making preparation for the day of hereafter. And he is the master of the day of judgment. He is the examiner of our last, of our final, the greatest and the most vital examination. The master about whom Prophet has very clearly instructed and told and informed us that on the day of judgment, standing before Maliki Yom Middin, there will be no soul who will be able to budge an inch until and unless he has answered, he has answered five questions. And these five questions are what? These five questions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are what? Number one, how did you spend your youth? How did you spend your youth? How did you dress up? What did you talk? What did you see? What did you watch? What did you hear? How did you behave? How did you talk? When did you sleep? And the second question, okay, fine. You were carefree, you were not bothered, you were not that experienced in youth, but the rest of your life, how did you spend your life? How did you spend your life? Some of you might have been given 80 years, some 90 years, some 65 years. How did you spend when you had the experiences of your life and you gained the knowledge? How did you spend the rest of your life? And then the third question, how did you earn? Your earnings, were they lawful? Were they halal? Was it permissible? Did you refrain from the unlawful earnings? And then the fourth question, how did you spend your earnings? And last but not the least, the knowledge you were blessed with, how much did you act upon it? Allahumma inni as'aluka. Almanafian, Rizkan Toyiban, Wa Amalam Mutakabalam.